But hey guys, it's Luke. And once again, keeping the tradition alive of vlogging in the most noisiest place I could possibly find. Not only by a waterfall, but by a main street. There we go, that's a new one, even for me. But here we are at the beginning of Ogden Canyon. Now, this is one of the ways to get to the snowfields, but it's also quite a magnificent drive. There's no way that I can really absolutely replicate the beauty of where I'm about to drive. Uh, it's one of those places where you just really have to be there to uh, enjoy and just to take in just what you're actually seeing. Um, I've looked back on some of my footage and the GoPro does an okay job, but uh, even just camera wise, you know, just wow, oh, my hair. Um, I'm gonna put on a beanie in a minute. I uh, just, yeah, man, the, uh, the grandeur of the place, it just cannot be captured on camera as hard as you try. You can get an idea, but you just won't know until you're actually here. So on that note, I'm gonna strap a GoPro to the front of the car and share with you the drive into the snowfields. We're gonna head into a town called Huntsville. And from there, who knows where we'll end up. Enjoy the drive. Cemetery Point Beach. You know, I've heard of white sand before, but my goodness, this sand is insanely cold, and well, the water's a bit hard too. So, I guess there's no swimming today. And as much of oh, see, I still didn't put the beanie on. Oh my goodness. Ah, <laughs> oh. and I specifically came here at this time of day because this is the time of day 
that I came here yesterday. Everything looks so much better during golden hour. I mean, just look at those mountains. Oh my goodness. Hi everyone. It's just, <laughs> yeah. And just imagining this place during the autumn, summer and spring months, my goodness. This is just, <laughs> this place would be incredible. Now I am walking down, I do see footprints on the ice, so I'm going to attempt to walk on the lake. Um, yeah, if you get this, uh, if you get this far in my vlog series and you see me talking about it, well then I guess you know I have survived. I am a noob to this sort of thing, so it's probably best I stay away from things that I know not of. Like for example, there we go. So I am standing on the ice at the moment. I'm not actually sure how deep I am at the moment. Um, as you can see, there's no people out, but it has been quite a warm day today. Um, so I don't want to really push my luck. Yeah, as you can see. So as you can see, I'm digging down into the snowy ice there, so... Yeah, wow, this is... <laughs> this is something. This really is something. I don't know what it is, but... Oh my goodness. <sighs> Alright, so just to put it in perspective, so where I am currently is 5 degrees. This is basically where all my family is situated. So fam, uh, <laughs> Adelaide will be a high of 28 today. Today was a high of 6 for me, Singapore Island, nice and humid with a high of 31, and Gympie, extreme heat, 28 and raining. <laughs> wow, and here I am, really not looking forward to going home, because, well, when I go home, on the day I arrive, holy moly, it is going to be, uh, it's not in focus, but anyway, it's going to be 29 degrees Celsius. <laughs> Oh no, oh no, no, no. Um, please find some way to make me stay that doesn't involve me getting hurt. <laughs> this is my weather, I love it. Um, as you can probably see, I'm in the snow in shorts and a, this is my Microsoft hoodie, my usual hoodie that I wear everywhere. So that just goes to show like how used to this climate I am. I'm built for this climate, and no, that's not just a fat joke. Um, even when I was really, really skinny, um, I would get really, really hot really, really quickly. Um, yeah, it's just bonkers. Like, uh, we have an ice, ice skating center in Adelaide called the, uh, the Ice Arena Mount Thebidon, and I would have to wear warm clothes just to make other people feel warm. And on the inside, I'd just be sweating so badly. Um, but here, you know, this is, this is gorgeous. This is ah, just, ah. and this is just one spot of many in the Ogden area. Um, yeah, this is, this is amazing. I love it. Oh, and look, look guys, bad news. Bad news, I have a, damaged my shoes somehow oh no that's uh that's not good that's not good i don't know when that would have happened probably rock climbing actually i went rock climbing in these oh it's going deep <laughs> Whoop. and i have snow inside there yeah, let's get that out there we go <laughs> this is deep <laughs> oh wow okay okay we good we good we're getting up, up into the car park now. Yes, <laughs> during warmer months, this is the car park for the beach. You can hear people say, but Luke, just step in everyone else's footprints. I like to make my own trail, people. <laughs> Metaphor. There's the car, beautiful car. 
It's actually been a really good car. It has its quirks, but every car does. Ooh, that's a trek. <laughs> I've been hiking canyons. Um, let's have a look. And no, no ice fishes today. It's a little sad, but there we go. Let's uh, head up in the mountains a bit further and go for a drive in that direction towards Snow Basin. And of course, that means refitting the GoPro so we can head off. Um, enough bad hair for one look it's just quite amazing like how much difference the side of the mountain makes um, right now the Sun is setting behind the mountain and on the other side of this mountain is Ogden and it's hardly any snow really on that side whereas here it's just snow for days now obviously I understand that's because that's the side of the mountain that the sun is on for most of the time, but still, it's like, it's not like I'm even looking at the same mountain. It's completely different. Um, I don't know how else to explain it, um, but that's just the way that my brain works. My brain just sees snow and it just goes gaga. <laughs> uh, I have dirty shoes. Now it is five o'clock, so basically, Everything's pretty much closed right about now and it's definitely no Park City or Solitude or Brighton but uh, it's still quite a nice little quaint ski resort here. Got the learning center over there, the operations building over there, you've got Earl's Lodge and with the slopes closed 
Wow, this is quite gorgeous. With the slopes closed, they're out there grading the snow. Ready for another day. Oh, this place is crazy pretty. And these gas fire places are really nice as well. A nice touch, which they didn't have at any of the other places, so that's pretty cool. Earl's Lodge there again. And the Grizzly Center over there, which I believe is where you go to rent your gear. Oh no! You spilled your Kool-Aid, George! No! <laughs> oh, there we go. Snow sculpture contest there. <laughs> Repair shop calcium. And then, oh, yeah, there we go. I did not actually notice that. It's actually a skull. There we go. That's pretty cool. I definitely, definitely want to come back um, in the warmer months and actually do some walking, even some mountain biking. Ah, <sighs> mountain biking. Um, yeah, this year is just getting on top of everything that I ended up letting go of after the car accident. Before the car accident, I was 102 um, kilos, not pounds. Um, uh, gosh, to be 102. Um, I, you'd probably see right through me at that weight getting back my mental health, my spiritual health, and my physical health. And when I say health, yes. Like, I don't need to be fighting fit or anything like that. I just, I'm just tired of being tired all the time. I'm tired of my size restricting what I can and can't do. Um, and it is something that I can control. I think I've said this plenty of times before. There are people out there that can't do anything about their size, either genetics or thyroids or something like that. But for me, I don't mean to fat shame anyone except for myself because it is well within my control. And that I do lack is control. Um, yeah. So, yeah, it looked like a beaver. Yeah. That, among many other things, is what this year is all about. Last year was a great reset, wiping pretty much all the slates clear. Just even being here in Ogden, it's it's been, been refreshing. It really has. I've enjoyed it immensely. Even being here by myself, I think that's also, it's been very chill, very calm, very me-centric. Um, I mean, I had to catch up with my friend Mandy the other night with her folks and Simon and we had a great meal at a place called um, a few moments later Prairie Schooner I'm gonna say Prairie Schooners um, which is a themed which I'll post some pictures here from Google because I was enjoying the night so much and I was also a little nervous so I just completely forgot to uh, take any photos or anything like that no reason in particular so yeah uh, yeah, that was really cool. Guys, I hope you're doing well. Um, two more days. Well, one and a bit more days. And then back in Australia. I'll probably be in Australia probably like a month before you guys even watch this vlog. That's how far behind I am. But uh, on that note, I will see you on the next vlog. Until then, au revoir. vlog. Let's do it. I feel so stupid doing footage like that. I don't know why. It's just not me, I don't think.